Sometimes we want to create a document that gets its information from separate files. Or we want to create a document that we want to split into separate files so a group of us can work on a document, each person having their own portion that they work on. For example, what I'd like to do is switch to a different view in this blank document. So I'm going to go to View in the ribbon and I'm going to choose Outline. The outline view looks like this. Immediately I have the number 1 and I'm just going to type a main heading introduction. Notice in my styles area pane that heading 1 shows automatically. So this has automatically got the style applied heading 1. I'm then going to press enter and put in my other main headings. Now the fact that my headings are numbered is purely because of the way that style has been set up. For example, if I go to the Home tab and I go to my Styles pane and I just drag down and find Heading 1, I could modify Heading 1 that it doesn't actually include a number. And that's just automatically updated that style. But the whole idea is that we've got a blank document, we're in a view called Outline View, and it has its own tab in the ribbon, and when we start typing, it automatically assumes that these are main level headings. Now, the, this is going to be what they call a master document. Each of these I now want to turn into a sub-document, so that this is a separate file, this is a separate file, this is a separate file, and there are six separate files. And then I could effectively have six people, one working on each chapter. The whole idea is if I click on Introduction and Return to Outlining, is that I can actually turn this into a sub-document. I need to click the Show Document button so that I can then get access to the Create button. And it's the Create button that creates a new sub-document, so I click that. And then I click on Background and I go Create, History, Create, Structure, Create, Recommendation, Create, and Conclusion, Create. Now when I save this file, um, then it will automatically save six other files, so I end up with seven. One file called Introduction, one called, file called Background, one called History, one called Structure, one called Recommendation, and one Conclusion in the same location as I save the main document. So if I turn around and go um, F12, which is Save As, and I may even create a new folder just to show you, um, which is called Master Files. And I'll go into the Master Files and I'll call this one Master Document. And save. So that's just saved this file, and you can see this at the top here as master document. But if I go Control O for open, and I go browse, and I go and look at master files, not only do I have the master document, but there also is my introduction, my background, my history, my structure, and my recommendation and conclusion, each of those main headings. So now people can be working on these separate files and they'll automatically show in the master document. So I'll just cancel that for now. Some of the things that you can see, so when you're in outlining, you can see extra things. For example, you could lock that document so it can't be changed. Um, you could also insert a sub-document that existed somewhere else. You could also unlink, um, delete a link to a sub-document and all the content would automatically become part of the master. You can collapse sub-documents so that you can actually see the hyperlink and you can see actually where that sub-document is stored and expand it. So you can either see the location of the sub-document or you can expand it and see the content of the sub-document. The idea is if I was to close this file and maybe open up introduction. And if I was to add some text to introduction, and I'll just add some random text. And if I was to add maybe 
the subheading. Um, and that's a heading two. If I was to save this, and I happen to be looking at the master, and in the master, I happen to be under view, outline view, show or expand the sub document, you'll actually see the content come through from the introduction into the master. And if I close outline view, you still see the content coming through in print layout view. So the whole idea is that people can be working on these files and the content will be pulled through from the sub document into this master document. Um, so I can actually switch back to introduction and add more text. And save. And when I go back to switching to the master, you'll see it's just automatically come through. So I can actually watch text being created. As soon as it saves in the sub document, it comes through the master document. Now the master document means that the styles in the master document rule. They override the styles in the sub documents. It means also that you can create headers and footers, a table of content, an index, all those sorts of things can be created in the master document and all it does is pull through the content from the sub document. So it's really quite a powerful thing when you're collaborating as a group on a file. There are some tricks to be aware of. Um, I'm just going to go back to view outline and I'm just going to go back to collapse sub documents. If you are going to move the sub document then you really need to open it through the master, save it somewhere else and when you close it and come back to the master the master will know it's been moved from its original location to a new location and things like that. I'll close the outline view, oops sorry, I'll go to view, outline, expand, then close so that I can see everything in my master document and that's master documents and sub documents.